Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll discuss the concept of interaction or effect modification in linear regression, as well as how to include this in a linear regression model in R. We will actually discuss the concept of interaction in a few different videos using a few different examples. Putting it generically, if x1 and x2 interact, this means that the effect of x1 on y depends on the values of x2 and vice versa. We will be working with the lung capacity data. I've already imported this data into R and attached it. We will examine the interaction or effect modification between smoking and age. First, let's make a plot of the lung capacity versus the age and smoking and discuss the concept of interaction. I've written a script to produce this plot. You can find a link to download a copy of this script in the video description below. And you can check out some of our earlier videos for a more detailed discussion of the commands that will be used to produce this plot. Now, let's go ahead and produce this plot first for the non-smokers. And let's add in the points for the smokers. And let's also add in a legend to this plot. We can think of the regression model that we will fit using the explanatory variables of age and smoke as fitting two regression lines to this plot, one for smokers and one for non-smokers. Recall that in an earlier video, we fit a model to this data that did not include interaction. This model had two parallel lines, one for smokers and one for non-smokers. This model that did not include interaction assumed that the effect of age was the same for smokers and non-smokers. This also assumed that the effect of being a smoker was the same for all ages. Let's begin a discussion of interaction or effect modification. Such a model would result in non-parallel lines. For the sake of our discussion, suppose that the model looked as presented here. This model suggests that the effect of age on the mean lung capacity depends on whether someone smokes or not, as can be seen by lines with differing slopes. This can also be stated as the effect of age is modified by smoking, or is specific to whether or not someone smokes. This model can also be interpreted as suggesting that the effect of smoking on the mean lung capacity is dependent on the age. This is also stated as the smoking effect is modified by age. In this example, the effect of age and the effect of smoking interact. This can also be stated as the effect of age and the effect of smoking are dependent on one another. They do not act independently on the mean lung capacity. Now let's take a look at how to fit a model that includes interaction in R. I'll use this script that I've already prepared. We can see that we can fit this model that includes interaction or effect modification by using the age star smoke. Doing this will include the main effects of age as well as smoke in the model and also their interaction age time smoke. We can also produce the same model using the colon, which I prefer to do myself. Here we will enter age plus smoke plus age colon smoke, which is their interaction term. Now let's ask for a summary of the model. We can see that the fitted regression equation is the mean lung capacity being equal to 1.052 plus 0.558 times age, plus 0.226 times the indicator for smoking, minus 0.06 times age times the indicator for smoking. Recall that the indicator for smoking equals 1 if the individual smokes and 0 if they do not. We can then calculate the regression line for the non-smokers as being 1.052 plus 0.558 times age, plus 0.226 times 0, minus 0.06 times age times 0, which results in an equation of 1.052 plus 0.558 times age. Calculating the regression line for smokers, the smoking indicator will equal 1, and the regression line is then 1.052 plus 0.558 times age, plus 0.226 times 1, minus 0.06 times age times 1, which results in an equation of 1.278 plus 0.498 times age. Here we can see that the interaction term 
of negative 0.06 acts as a sort of adjustment to the age effect or the slope of the line for a smoker relative to a non-smoker. Now let's add these two lines to the plot using the script I've prepared. To do so we will use the AB line command. First adding the line for non-smokers and then adding the line for smokers. There are some questions we want to ask ourselves about this interaction term and whether or not we should include it in our model. The first question we want to ask ourselves is does this interaction make sense conceptually? In other words, does it make sense that the effect of smoking should depend on the age? For example, should the smoking effect on a 19-year-old be different than the smoking effect on a 15-year-old? Probably not. The second question we want to ask ourselves is the interaction term statistically significant? Essentially, this is asking the question of whether or not we believe the slopes of the two regression lines to really be significantly different. Let's ask for that model summary again. Taking a look at the p-value here for the interaction term, 0.377, we can see that it is not statistically significant. In order to include an interaction term in our model, the answer to both of those questions should be yes. That is, it should make sense conceptually, and it should be statistically significant. Since our interaction term does not make sense conceptually, and it's not statistically significant, we should not include it in our model. A more appropriate model to fit would be one that does not include the interaction term. We can see that model here. For a detailed discussion of this model, you can check out one of our earlier videos where we fit and discuss this model that does not include the interaction. Later in this series of videos, we'll introduce the partial F-test, which is one more option for comparing nested models and deciding which model is more appropriate for modeling our data. We will also explore the concept of interaction or effect modification further in following videos. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.